it spread through the team and it's contagion. I think our offense is really good tonight. We flowed, we moved the ball really well. Um, we got a lot of good looks and, you know, we made a lot of them. So if we continue to play like that, I think we can compete with a lot of, you know, you're not, obviously not going to shoot the ball like that every night, but I think the principles of getting those looks and defending the way we did, um, you know, it's really going to help us going forward. Over the last couple of weeks, you all have talked about some of those defensive uh, principles. What was on display tonight? Because it didn't seem like they got much like easy. Yeah, um, I mean that's that's kind of the goal for us, making making things tough for the opponent. And you know, when you play a team like Boston, who've got so many weapons, um, you know, you know you're not going to stop them. It's just about making it hard and slowing them down. And I think. Um, you know, Lou, J Dub, the primary defenders did a great job, and I think our supporting cast around them really helped out. Um, so it, it was a good, you know, collective effort. Um, you can never leave guys like Tatum and Brown up to one player. So um, we did it as a team, and I think we spoke about that, you know, in the last couple of games. It hasn't been what we, you know, have been and would have liked. So cleaned it up tonight and, you know, got a big win. You had the baseline dunk, the bowled over uh, White basically on the drive for two. I mean, how are you feeling about just your f physicality at the rim right now? Yeah, it's feeling good. I mean, it's obviously something I've got to work on, um, finishing around the rim through contact. Um, so just trying to, you know, understand that um, a lot of the time I'm going to be bigger than my matchup. Um, I think in the past I haven't really used that to my advantage. So just understanding that um, a lot of the time, I've, you know, I'm trying to shoot floaters and stuff, but just trying to make an emphasis on getting to the rim, getting to the foul line more. Um, that's, you know, another area that I've really got to get better at. So um, just being aggressive, um, making the right plays, and when that's, you know, when that means getting downhill, you know, finishing strong at the rim. Pierce Lawson, Valley Sports. Coach, give you guys a lot of credit for how you started this game, particularly that first quarter. And you had a couple guys in the starting lineup who normally aren't in there. What allowed you guys to, to get off to such a strong start tonight? Yeah, uh, guys are ready to go. I mean, you know, obviously we plan to have Shea uh, all day until late. In, and then, you know, Wiggs gets told he's starting, comes in, does his job great. Um, so guys are ready to step up and um, take on, you know, bigger um, you know, bigger opportunity and bigger roles. And I think uh, we moved the ball really well. It was, you know, an unselfish night for, for everybody. Um, so when we're playing like that, when we're defending the way we are, um, you know, we're a tough team to beat because, you know, we saw we had Kayrich at the five, and that's a guy that can handle the ball and make plays. So we throw a lot of different lineups out there, but guys find a way to connect. And uh, when we play unselfishly and together, um, you know, we're a tough team to stop. Mark said that uh, you guys had to have a little bit more attention, especially on the defensive end with the Celtics coming in. Um, is that, was that you guys' mindset to start the game? Definitely. Um, I mean, as I said, they got a lot of weapons, a lot of guys can get things done. So um, we definitely had to, obviously, you know, as I said, Tatum and Brown are the two main, you know, focal points, but um, they got a lot of contributors outside of that. Um, so we had to be switched on defensively from the start, and I think we were uh, for the most part. But um, you know, on the flip side, they're a really good defensive team, so we, we had to take care of the ball, get good looks, and I think for the most part, um, we had them running around. We got a lot of good looks, shot the ball really well, so um, we were good on both ends of the floor. And I think we executed the game plan you know, pretty well tonight. And you specifically, you seem like you're playing much more comfortable basketball. Is it just that simple that you're feeling more comfortable, especially with the shot? Yeah, um, I mean, the shot's feeling good. I mean, you know, continuing to work on it. I, I sat here, you know, maybe a month ago, and um, I was shooting, you know, the percentages weren't good at all. And um, you guys asked me, you know, how's it feeling? I said, it's feeling good. And, and I said, these things, you know, take time, and you have to take steps backwards before you go forwards. And um, it's feeling good. You know, it's feeling better every day, continuing to work with Chip, with, you know, Mike Wilkes. And those guys are doing a great job with me, um, you know, keeping on me to get reps in, get my work in. So it's feeling good, and, you know, hopefully this can continue and continue to work on it. Kind of piggybacking off of that, uh, you know, shooters talk about being in the zone whenever they see it, but you had zero turnovers tonight as a pretty primary ball handler and uh, just getting that done. Did you have like a, a certain feel tonight that's a little different than other nights where uh, you felt like you could make every play and you actually you, you did without turning over? Yeah, I mean, that's, a, you know, something I've been trying to work on, taking care of the ball. Um, you know, I've been pretty... Uh, turnover prone and you know sometimes you know some of the turnovers I throw um, I have a bit of leeway because um, you know coach obviously understands the way I play is a bit on the edge and um, he gives me that freedom which allows me to you know play the way I play so some of them are that but um, others are just careless stuff you know throwing passes that I shouldn't be um, you know loose ball handling so you know tonight felt good um, just trying to orchestrate the offense early and then you know obviously in that third quarter you know found myself going a little bit but um, you know for the most part we're moving the ball everyone was playing unselfish and when we're playing like that guys are having fun. Yeah, Josh, just to follow up on that, you had 17 in the third quarter, three or four from three. Um, J-Dub had a couple of big dunks. Just how does it 
feel like that, especially against one of the best teams in, in the league that you're um, doing that also without Shea? Yeah, um, as I said, it's contagious. Um, you know, one guy makes a shot, the next guy feeling good about himself. And um, when the crowd's into it like they were tonight, it really gives our players energy. And um, we went on a run, they called a timeout. We went on another run, they called another timeout. So those things are contagious. And I think when guys are playing the way we did tonight, um, it spreads through the team, you know, through 12 guys, whatever we had playing. Um, and everyone comes in. And you know, every time you shoot the ball, you think it's going in. It's just the confidence that everyone had tonight. And um, when we're playing like that, it's a lot of fun. Um, Josh, obviously there's been a lot of talk about your shot, like you just mentioned earlier. You have a great night tonight. Um, just how much of that is it just nice to see that the work's paying off? Obviously, it's not something where it's just like one day you get shooting well and it just flips on forever. But to see the work paying off in a big game like this where a lot of people are going to watch and see just how much you have improved. Yeah, um, I mean, as I said, you know, you have to go backwards before you go forwards. You know, I was changing habits that I'd done for years and years throughout my basketball career. And, um, obviously struggled shooting the ball early on, but, um, you know, I was never worried. I was always, you know, understanding that these things take time and it's a process and um, trusting the coaches and what they had in place for me. So um, I'm feeling confident with it. My teammates have confidence in me to shoot the ball. Um, and, you know, just taking the right ones, I think, is, is the you know, big thing for me. I think last year I took a lot of tough ones uh, off the bounce, uh, off the catch. I felt like, you know, I had to prove to people that I could shoot the ball, whereas now um, it's just about taking smart ones and, and making the right looks. How much of that is just, I guess, working with the coaching staff and just finding where your spots are on the floor, where you're more comfortable? Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, a lot of it's getting reps and just knowing that, uh, you know, especially when Shea's out there, that defenses are so heavily loaded in on him that, um, you know, me and the rest of the guys have to be ready to knock down shots. I think um, that opens our offense um, so much more when guys are shooting the ball. As I said earlier, we're not going to shoot the ball like this every night. But uh, when guys are taking the right looks, you double down on that. And I think, you know, the same goes for me. Um, just taking the right ones and... Um, you know, hopefully over time it continues, you know, to improve. Uh, Josh, last time out, your sister had 14 points and the D2 season picks back up on Thursday. <laughs> What's it been like for you to share this experience with her and how much have you gotten to watch SNU play? Yeah, um, it's been great. Obviously, she lives with me. Um, it's been great. We we've been close our whole lives. So um, it's been great to have her in Oklahoma. It, it worked out perfectly that she was here and, and then I got drafted here. But um, I got to my first game last night. Um, they've all clashed so far, so I was able to get to one. But fun seeing her play. You know, we've grown up having so many battles in the driveway in the backyard. So um, it's awesome having her here. She did early on, but uh, as we got older, I took care of him. Trey said he thinks J-Dub should have a 90-plus dunk rating on 2K. <laughs> Do you agree with that? He is athletic. He has a lot of dunks. I think him and Shea, they always be debating about who has more dunks in the year. But, um, yeah, J-Dub is a freak athlete. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, guys.